Cloud monitoring provides visibility into the performance, uptime, and overall health of cloud-powered applications. Cloud monitoring collects metrics, events, and metadata from Google Cloud. Cloud monitoring ingests data from the resources and generates insights via dashboards, charts, and alerts. This hands-on lab shows you how to monitor a compute engine virtual machine instance with cloud monitoring. The steps that will follow in this lab are as follows. First, log into Google Cloud account and open Cloud Console. Create a Compute Engine instance and then add Apache 2 HTTP server to the instance. Then install the OPS agents, create a new dashboard and uptime check and an alerting policy. And in the end, observe the dashboard and the uptime activity. Open your browser in the incognito mode, go to cloud.google.com. If you don't already have an account, you need to click on get started for free. I already have an account, so I'll click on sign in. First step is to create a compute engine instance. In the cloud console dashboard, go to the navigation menu to compute engine, virtual machine instance and then create instance. Fill in the required fields, leaving all the other fields at the default value. Don't forget to check Allow HTTP Traffic Firewall as we'll need that in this lab. Then click on Create. You'll see a green check when the instance has launched. Then in the console, click SSH to open terminal to your instance and click Connect. Run the sudo apt-git update and then sudo apt-git install apache 2's command to install the apache 2 HTTP server. When asked if you want to continue, enter Y for yes. Then run the sudo service apache to restart command. Then return to the cloud console on the VM instances page. Click on the external IP for instance to see the apache 2 default page for this instance. Wait a while if you don't see the default page right away. Also remember to use HTTP instead of default HTTPS in the URL. Once you are done with it, Run the monitoring agent install script command in the SSH terminal of your VM instance to install the cloud monitoring agent. Verify that the agent is working as expected by running the sudo systemctl command. Next we'll create an uptime check. Uptime checks verify that a resource is always accessible. For practice, create an uptime check to verify your VM is up. In the cloud console, in the left menu, click Uptime Checks and then click Create Uptime Check. Set the required fields, title, HTTP protocol, instance resource type, applies to a single instance, leave at default the path and check frequency at 1 minute. Click on Next to leave the other details to default and click Test to verify that your uptime check can connect to the resource. When you see a green check mark, everything can connect. Click Create. Instead of just waiting here, we can learn how to create an alerting policy. In the left menu, click Alerting and then click on Create Policy. Click on Select a Metric drop-down. Disable the Show Only Active Resource and Metrics. Type Network Traffic in Filter by Resource and Metric Name and click on VM Instance to Interface. Select Network Traffic and click Apply. Leave all other fields as default value and then click on Next. Set the threshold position to above threshold, its value to 500 and in Advanced Options, retest window to 1 minute. Then click on Next. Then click on drop down arrow next to Notification Channels and click on Manage Notification Channels. A notification channels page will open in new tab. Scroll down the page and click on add new for email. In click email channel dialog box, enter your personal email address in the email address field and display name and then click on save. Go back to the previous tab, click on notifications channel again and then click on re refresh icon to get the display name you mentioned in the previous step. Add a message in documentation which will be included in the emailed alert. Review the alert and create policy. You've created an alert. Now let's go and create a dashboard and a chart. You can display the metrics collected by cloud monitoring in your own charts and dashboards. 
In this section, you create the charts for the lab matrix and the custom dashboard. In the left menu, select dashboards and then create dashboard. Name the dashboard cloud monitoring test. Add the first chart. Click line option in chart library. Name the chart as CPU load. Click on resource and metric drop down. Disable the show only active resources and metrics. Type CPU load 1M in filter by resource and metric name and click on virtual machine instance CPU. Select CPU load 1M and click apply. Leave all other fields at the default. Refresh the tab to view the graph. Add the second chart. Click add chart and select line option in the chart library. Name this chart receive packets. Click on resource and metric drop down. Disable the show only active resources and metrics. metrics. Type receive packets in filter by resource and metric name and click on virtual machine instance and go to instances. Select receive packets and click apply. Refresh the tab to view the graph. Leave the other fields at their default values. In the compute engine window, select the instance and click three vertical dots at top of screen and then click stop. Then check the uptime check results and triggered alerts. Click the name of your uptime check. Since you have just restarted your instance, it may take some minutes for the regions to become active. Reload your browser windows as necessary. See the dashboard and observe charts. We don't see much difference here because we haven't made any significant changes to the instance. That was all for this lab. As a best practice, I'll delete the resources that I made during the lab as all of these are billable resources.